Hey, welcome to Too Many Gadgets. So today we are talking about screens for ultra short throw projectors. So the reason for today's video is really that I'm reviewing a ultra short throw projector from Xiaomi. And uh, I already have a projector at home and I also have a screen for that projector and had for many years and that works out fine. That's an HD projector that's mounted in my ceiling. But when I got the, the Xiaomi 4K Ultra Short Show projector, I could just see, you know, that it did not work at all uh, well with my current screen. So I needed something different. And I sort of had an, a hunch that that would be the case because when you read uh, up on the technology behind those type of projectors, uh, the, the the way they reflect, they need to reflect light is different. So you need something different than what you you traditionally have, and that's why I'm doing this video. So this video will really be about different things. It'll both of course be about this specific projector from XY Screen that I bought. It'll be to show you how I, that uh, is assembled and how that works with the Xiaomi 4K projector. But it'll also be to tell the story about the technology uh, around these type of screens so that you have a better understanding why you can't use your existing screen with that. So I'll show you how my uh, current HD projector looks on my current screen and then what happens if you throw a 4K uh, ultra short throw projector at that type of screen and why does that's not a good idea. So that's sort of uh, what we're going to do today. And again, the, this video will be time coded so you can skip to the specific sections if you have anything you uh, you particularly are looking for, or you can just uh, sit back and react and I'll take you through the whole thing. But let's start out by showing, you know, my current projector with my uh, current screen, how that works, and then switch to throwing the uh, ultra short throw projector from Xiaomi at my current old screen and why that's a problem. So here we see the 4K projector against my old screen. So the screen flickering, you should disregard. That's not in real life. That's just the refresh rate of the camera and the projector not playing nicely with each other. What you should notice is, of course, the colors being a little bit washed out and especially look to the left side and that the left side is sort of crooked and not straight, even though if we I were to project an image from my HD projector, it would look perfectly straight. So also notice that you are seeing some vertical lines here, sorry, horizontal lines that are probably the, the motorized screen that my old screen is, where these lines appear due to, due to it being a motorized and then rolled back and forth. So these lines were not visible with my old projector, but with the 4K auto structure protector, you all of a sudden notice these small things that doesn't really make the image uh, pop out in the way that you would want to. Okay, so now it should be pretty clear for you that you need to do something different than having these uh, old type of uh, screens when you use an uh, ultra short throw projector. So what I uh, did was uh, I, of course, like anyone else, started Googling and searched on YouTube to see what others did. And I found some mentions to a specific company called XY Screen. So I reached out to them and uh, fortunate for me, they were extremely quick to respond and very helpful in finding out which type of screen that I needed in order to complete my project. So what we ended up with was, was an ALR UST PET crystal. Try saying that 10 times fast. <laughs> um, so the, the theory behind this, this type of screen is that it's optimized for projectors that are projecting from uh, below and going uh, up instead of a normal projector that will sort of go directly from uh, the side to the screen. So this type of screen reflects light differently than what we are used to and that's why they work out with uh, those type of projectors that I'm testing now. So uh, let's just have a quick look at the again the technology behind this and I'll show you a diagram about how this uh, concept works. So here we have zoomed extremely much into the fabric of this screen cloth. And what you are seeing here is what we could describe as a sawtooth shaped foam, which is the magic behind the reflection of this screen. It's 0 0.8 in gain and a viewing angle of 160 degrees. And the cloth itself is 0 0.4 millimeters 
is thick. Like shown here, the combination of all of these things make the light coming from the projector reflect back to the viewer, but the ambient light in the room coming from other angles are not reflected very much. And this is the reason also why in this example, the same material being lighted from the same angle but viewed from two different angles will appear differently due to this sawtooth shape material and the reflection that it creates. So having concluded, you know, that I needed this type of screen, uh, and again, I had uh, had found uh, the mention a couple of mentions of x ray screens uh, while doing my research. I, I again reached out to them, and uh, but to be honest, I hadn't. Uh, th there aren't that many that ha that have this type of projector yet. So so the the, the whole market around this uh, this area is not that big uh, at least yet. So, um, so I also found it, you know, reasonable to uh, to try and use this video also to let XY Screen, you know, try and just give a quick introduction to what uh, type of company they are, and for you guys to have a look and at how their production works. So this is just a quick snip from uh, XY Screen where they have shown me how their production facility works and their their factory. So uh, if you're interested in that, have a look at this. Okay, done with the introduction, let's have a look at how you assemble a screen like this. Before you start the assembly process, make sure you have a good working area with it, which is cleared out so you have sufficient space to do this assembly. Everything is very securely packaged from the factory side and is also very clearly labeled like I will show you now which part I included in the different packages so it's easy to identify what you need in the different assembly process of this screen. Very nice touch from XY Screen's side to do this. The first part of the process is to build the inner frame because that's what's gonna hold the actual screen. So we lay out all these pieces and everything you need in the entire build process is included from XY Screen's side, even down to the tools, the brackets, the screws, the springs, and you even get a piece of cotton gloves to help protect the screen during the mounting process. So we lay out the inner frame pieces and then we find this connecting piece that will hold the two pieces that we are connecting together. And in this part of the process, it's extremely important that you make sure that the two pieces sort of come nice together in the corner to make sure that the alignment is perfect. Lay out the cloth and make sure that you have the downside positioned correctly and then put the inner screen on top of the cloth. We will now push these plastic rods through a channel that's been sewn into the actual screen because that's what we are going to use to connect the springs to this piece of plastic to make sure that the cloth is straight and, uh, and nice and snug. You need to do this preferably two persons doing it from opposite sides at the same time. Now, that's the last piece, we are connecting the support beam in the middle and that's uh, pretty much the last part before we are connecting the outer frame to the inner frame. What the outer frame does is sort of give a nice look including a little piece of velvet cloth that will help sort of eat some of the ambient light that could spill over from the actual screen. So this is fairly easy as you just click the outer frame in over the inner frame and then just put these connecting pieces Again, make sure that the corners align perfectly and then just mount it through this bracket. Now I need to find out, you know, the correct position for my screen and the bracket. So I turn on the projector and sort of make a note here. You can just probably hint that I've drawn a pencil line here on the top and that's where I need to put the two brackets that will hold the actual screen. So you need to do the, the math about how, how uh, far down these uh, 
two brackets are, my conclusion was it was roughly 10 centimeters below the top of the screen. And like you're seeing here, I'm using a level to make sure that they are perfectly aligned before actually mounting the screen on the two brackets, which is fairly easy to do. The whole assembly process took around an hour or so, and you really need to be two persons to do this, at least for the actual mounting on the wall, because you know this is way too big. It's not that heavy, but it's just big, so you need two people to be able to, to do this properly. Uh, I think you know the, the assembly process was fairly good described in the, in the manual and also the video that I was uh, linked to by XY Screen. Uh, I think the only thing that they perhaps could uh, improve was uh, to make it uh, even more clearly the math behind where you put the bracket uh, in relation to where the picture on the screen will end up. Uh, because, you know, in our instance, you know, having to do that type of math late at night when we wanted to finish the, the whole uh, mounting of the screen was, you know, a little bit tedious, but again, we got through it. But again, that's just one small suggestion from my side to x screen to improve helping out, you know, the math behind calculating where you put the bracket uh, to mount this screen. Uh, enough with the assembly. Let's have a look at how this screen does in uh, both daylight settings and nighttime settings. The first thing to notice is that this image is now perfectly straight in contrast to what we saw earlier with my old screen. We are also seeing that the colors are much better. We are not seeing the same washed out effect as we did with my old screen. And these, this foggy effect that we also saw, and again the horizontal lines, those are all gone. So we are seeing much more rich and vivid colors. And the projector is running in movie mode, so I'm not trying to enhance anything. Again, the flickering that you're noticing like before, that's to be expected. That's just a discrepancy in the refresh rate between the projector and the actual camera. But let's try and roll down my old motorized screen again, just again to sort of to have a, a before and after, because now you'll be able to see when I'm rolling down the screen, that the colors are sort of uh, yeah, going back to their more washed out state. And you are again noticing that the alignment of the actual picture is now becoming problematic, especially in the left side, but especially the colors is also very noticeable here. And XY Screens actually also sent a separate piece of cloth that could illustrate the difference between uh, optimized uh, screen for this projector and just a normal screen class like the one I also have on my own. And it's very clear that the colors are much clearer on the X-Ray screen. So before summing up, I just want to make it clear that I'm not sponsored by XY screen. I paid for my screen myself. Uh, I am super happy with my screen and I'm super happy with the whole process from you know, talking to XY Screen with Wendy, that was super quick to respond to all my emails and questions and uh, how we would handle the whole uh, shipping process and payment and all of that. Uh, everything was super smooth and, you know, really a big thumbs up to, uh, to them for being so customer service oriented. And also, you know, and I'm not political uh, in my channel, but I think, you know, that it's it's kind of nice, you know, in a world where sometimes, you know, our political leaders cannot, yeah, talk uh, nicely with each other and find uh, good solutions to how the world should work. That uh, that me sitting in Denmark, you know, can write directly to a company in China, you know, find out what type of product I need, and a week later, you know, it shows up at my door. You know, that that is it's nice, you know, that the world is not bigger, you know, than that that process is still possible. Uh, the frame uh, that this screen is made of uh, is made out of aluminum, uh, aluminum, sorry, and uh, aluminium. Uh, I think would be the correct pronunciation, and uh, it feels really good quality. Uh, the whole process around assembly is well documented and fairly easy to do. You just need to be two persons to to do it properly. Uh, and it's made a huge difference for me with the, the projector screen that uh, that I now have with my, my 4K projector from Xiaomi. I had the projector for a couple of weeks before I actually got and, uh, and assembled this uh, screen from XY Screen. 
and it's uh, it, it was really frustrating in the period up to getting the XY screen that uh, it was uh, the my old screen which worked out again fine with my old projector it was just so evident you know that every little small imperfection in my old screen was but it was being exposed by this uh, new projector that I had so if you are considering getting a AltaShot Pro projector which I highly recommend and again my review video of the Xiaomi 4K projector is coming up soon. But if you are considering going in that direction, you will need to uh, acquire a screen that's optimized for that type of projection. So uh, if you are in, in that market, I can definitely give my thumbs up to XY Screens and a big thanks to Wendy for being extremely service oriented with me and giving me a great buying experience uh, with their product. If you, uh, if you are in, uh, in considerations about this, I'll leave uh, contact information to XY Screen and Wendy who will help you out in finding out you know, what screen and size and all of that and how you will handle, handle shipping. So I paid $750 for this screen, including shipping. I paid over PayPal uh, and that includes also uh, for you as a customer uh, having a, a buyer protection. Uh, program so you are protected to a degree here when you are doing that sort of transaction I hope you found this uh, useful uh, and again look up for my common upcoming video about the the 4k projector if you have any questions as always just leave a comment and I'll try and answer it and I'll see you guys in another video bye